It started in 2001, which means I just celebrated 15 years of living with rheumatoid arthritis. Yeah, I know. I, I know you're not sure whether you clap or, or ah, feel sorry, right? It's, it's a decade and a half. It's been a third of my life. And I know in this room, some of you are looking at me like, rookie. <laughs> there are people in this room who've never known life without arthritis, who've never had a day without pain. And when I try to describe to people what it's like living with RA, I can tell them it's a chronic autoimmune disease for which there is no cure, but that sounds pretty abstract. I can tell them my immune system has betrayed me, but that kind of sounds Shakespearean. Et tu, immunus? <laughs> I'm just showing off for my dad there. That was good, right? For the rest of the blood people over there, please explain Shakespeare to them, right? I can tell people that most mornings when I wake up, I felt like I lost a bar fight the night before. I can tell people how the disease works. I can tell people physically how the pain feels. But the hard thing to describe is what it's like living life with a chronic disease every day. So for those of you who don't have RA, I came up with something. So run with me on this. Imagine you're living in a house, and it's a beautiful house. It's a home, and it's the home you want to live in the rest of your life. And you're sitting there one day in your home, and all of a sudden, a stranger bursts in through the door and starts trashing your house. He's knocking over lamps, kicking holes in the wall, and you're terrified. You, you're mad. And you reach out for help. So the cops show up, and they check out this person who's in your house, this person who burst in and is trashing your house, and they tell you you're related to this person. Not only that, this person has as much right to your house as you do. They're not moving out, so you have to learn how to live with them. And you do, because you have no choice. So if you're lucky, you figure out how to treat that person so they sleep most of the time. <laughs> They're not messing things up. And you try to go back to enjoying your house. But in the back of your mind, you know that something you do could set them off and they'll go back to trashing your house. That's what it's like living with RA. It's like having a family member move in and not move out. My parents are exchanging knowing glances. I moved out, okay? I am staying with you for Thanksgiving, though, so maybe they have a point. I don't know. I will say, though, after 15 years of living with RA, honestly, it's hard for me to remember what life was like without it. I was in medical school in Columbia, and I remember, it was around this time of the year. It was in the fall in New York, and I went jogging. And Columbia, if you don't know, it's in upper, upper Manhattan. So I went for a jog across the George Washington Bridge into Fort Lee Park in New Jersey. And honestly, God, I don't miss it. Not, not one, what, jogging is awful. Honestly, I think the only reason human beings evolved the ability to run was to avoid lions. And let me tell you, lions will not run for 11 miles in the rain. Only humans are stupid enough to do that and think it's fun. And don't tell me about runner's high. The only euphoria I ever felt running was when I quit. <laughs> oh, God, it's over. I will never do that again. Wait, we have to run back? I'd rather be eaten by a lion. But I remember running. And that's something I can't do anymore. I, my feet were destroyed by RA. I can't do high impact stuff. And that is something I miss. I can't do basketball, I can't run. I miss that. But I will tell you, I have learned a valuable lesson from rheumatoid arthritis. And that is the best way to live life. Don't focus on what you can't do. Focus on what you can do. Right. So I, took up swimming. Yeah, two people. Huh? <laughs> I will be honest, though, in full disclosure, I didn't really take up swimming. I took up controlled drowning. I, 
I am not a strong swimmer. I think, I think I must be part cement. When I am in the water, it looks like an octopus having a seizure. <laughs> it is not pretty. People walk by me with, looking for a life preserver, telling me, dude, it's four feet deep. Stand up. <laughs> but I love that I found something, something that keeps me active. And I realized that I have a chronic autoimmune disease that is attacking my body, and yet somehow I have ended up hosting the most active show on television, <laughs> American Ninja Warrior. I'm sorry, Mike, I think contractually I'm supposed to say, American Ninja Warrior. <laughs> But I will tell you, the thing I, I think that I love most about the show is that American Ninja Warrior epitomizes the spirit of the Arthritis Foundation. It embodies being a champion of yes.